what's up you guys I hope you're doing really good today in this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about VeChain first we will go over what is VeChain who invented it what is so special about it how does it work what can you do with VeChain the future how to buy it and lastly is VeChain a good investment but before we begin with the video, let's check VeChain at CoinMarketCap and this one is on the spot number 33 with a price of 0 0.08237, meaning that there is a 7.76% decrease from yesterday's price and a market cap of 5.31 billion. So the first thing to talk about, what is VeChain? VeChain is a blockchain built to help make supply chain management simpler. It was originally conceived as a way to determine if real-life product is fake or not, preventing frauds and knockoffs. Since then, it has been used by major corporations to help track everything from wine production to car manufacturing. The way it does that is simple. Give each product a unique identity, then use sensors to track what happens at each stage of the supply chain. That way, companies can be sure products are handled correctly and consumers can verify their purchases are legitimate. So if you are wondering who invented it, VeChain was found in 2015 by Sunny Lu, the former CIO of Louis Vuitton China. He combined his expertise in luxury goods with blockchain technology to create an IoT which stands for Internet of Things application for supply chain management. He remains the CEO of VeChain through a nonprofit called VeChain Foundation. If we go over a brief history on 2015, VeChain was founded. On June 2016, VeChain.1V launches. And then on May 2017, PwC partners with VeChain as a part of incubation program. And then on the summer of 2017, VeChain Foundation launches. Later on in February 2018, VEN rebranded VET. Then on spring of 2018, the mainnet launched, and then on 2018, mobile wallet launched. So if you're wondering what is so special about it, instead of being a blockchain for all things, VeChain took a very specialized approach to its development. Its structure, more, it's designed for the movement of goods and services across supply chain, making its token the VET a utility token. And not only that, it has a two-token system. One type of token funds the project and the other powers the blockchain. VeChain has also been very strategic when it comes to partnerships, securing a national level partnership with China as it develops smart cities. Additionally, it's joined forces with Price Waterhouse Coopers, who have helped promote VeChain's blockchain to customers. Indeed, a former PwC executive serves as the COO of VeChain Foundation, and a current PwC executive sits on the steering committee. Now, how does VeChain work? You can look at VeChain in three parts, the real world tech, the cryptocurrency, and the platform. If we look at the real world tech, VeChain works by giving physical products a unique identity, usually through RFID, QR codes, or NFC. Sensors record information at every stage of the supply chain and are recorded and linked to the product's identity. These are sensors that VeChain designs and are created by manufacturers like Bosk and Qualcomm. Since it uses blockchain technology, the recorded data can be changed. This allows for a truthful record of what conditions were alike throughout the supply chain. If anything went wrong, like goods being shipped to the wrong place, the blockchain record will show exactly where the mistake happened. It also allows the receiver of the goods to check that everything was handled correctly and that the items are authentic. If we take a look at the cryptocurrency, VeChain originally issued tokens known as VEN on Ethereum before it released its own platform in 2018. With this new platform became as rebranding as VeChain Thor known as VET. And VET is the payment used in VeChain system. The more VET a person or enterprise holds, the higher priority when it comes to using the blockchain resources. Now, on the platform side, the platform that is used to do all of this, known as Mainnet, can also be used by other blockchain projects to launch their own coin on VeChain system, in a similar manner to Ethereum. This platform has helped move VeChain on from just supply chain into D-apps. And how does a block get approved and added? 
So one of the hallmarks of blockchain technology is that it requires multiple people to approve any new blocks before they are added to the blockchain. A block is a record of transactions that becomes part of the blockchain forever and is nearly impossible to change. There are different ways of reaching an agreement on the block known as consensus protocol. A common one is proof of work which is closely associated with Bitcoin mining and the first to crack the cryptographic puzzle earns the spoils. VeChain uses a different model altogether called proof of authority. No puzzle cracking is required, just an approved group of people called validators. Each validator runs computer software that validates new additions to the blockchain making transactions a lot faster than proof of work and proof of stake protocols. It's an attempt to strike a balance between total decentralization and centralization. Now what can you do with VeChain? VeChain has developed a sensor chips for physical products that are uniquely linked to its blockchain platform. The system is exclusively geared for mass or enterprise adoption. Its real-world tech has been in use since 2015 when it developed NFC tracking chips to be placed inside handbags for a French luxury brand. Then in 2016, VeChain applied this tech for the Renault car company to track vehicle history. It keeps track for mittens, millage, and anything else that happened to the car from the time it first heard the road. This unchargeable record can be accessed by used car buyers to give them a complete account of the vehicle, a huge boost to tackle issues like odometer fraud, and VeChain has also announced partnerships with BMW and other car companies in Europe and Asia. Now the future of VeChain. Now that VeChain is equipped with its own platform, has a solid track record of delivering on promises and secure desirable partnerships with major companies, the sky is the limit. There are future announcements expected about their partnerships with BMW and Renault and there is no telling how many more companies on their PWC's banner that VeChain will attract. The currency is largely viewed as a good bet for investors with so many influential partners to its name and real-world application. And if you're wondering how to buy VeChain, the first step is to buy VT tokens, but they are not tradable on Coinbase or Gemini, but you can trade them on Binance. Binance offers a large selection of altcoins and allows purchases with credits and debit cards. Then you need to buy a wallet and this is a 100% optional step. But you'll need a wallet to hold your VET and Binance has a wallet built in that can hold both tokens. However, it's best practice to move any funds that aren't meant for trading to a cold storage wallet. Later on, you're ready to make your purchase. All that's left to do is purchase VET and send it to your chosen wallet for safekeeping. You can purchase VET through Binance Exchange similarly to how you buy any other cryptocurrency or stock. Now the question, is VeChain a good investment? And I would say it is. VeChain has erupted massively in the past few months and has been the talk of the town for giving returns investment. Various experts believe that we change an underrated cryptocurrency that has the potential for a massive blow up in the upcoming future. Looking at the current scenario as more and more companies will be using the weekend WeChain blockchain to monitor the inventory and supply channels, VT tokens will prolifically become more popular. The VeChain token is expected to regain the former heights shortly. As a result, VeChain looks like a perfect opportunity and choices available to the investors to buy at this point. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.